Sarah, you don't know where it came from. Could be a spy. See that ridge? Right here. Strong, go! I see it. Have you ever wanted to go scuba diving, but lacked the funds or physical capabilities to do so? Now, at Squabble, we are bringing new, live, immersive marine experiences over the web and giving users freedom to discover through Seahorse Live, Inc., an online platform dedicated to exploration and education. Users will have the opportunity to take control of a drone and, in real time, navigate through the environment giving users the unique, submersive feeling of actually being there while sitting in the comfort of their own living room. The possibilities are endless. It is as simple as going to squabble.com, picking from any available locations like these ones, and getting started. Users will pilot Ever since the beginning of science fiction, mankind has dreamed of flying cars and devices floating in air. This idea was partly achieved by development of engines with propellers, used in planes, helicopters, drones and other. However, all those engines have nothing to do with gravity, they work because of air cutting, and due to this fact, the environment they can be used in is limited to air or water only. Secondly. The device using those engines must have a specific shape and aerodynamics. An LGE can be successfully used in a car, train, ship, platform of any sort. It can work on ground, underwater, even in space. And, what's most important, it can move an object in any direction, including above ground, and keep it there. Just think of the possibilities. Imagine a ship that ran aground. Now, what do we do? Throw the cargo out to make it lighter? Our engines can lift the ship. Think of a piano that has to be delivered to third floor. Why hire a crane when you can put it on a floating platform and make it weightless or fly up by itself? The possibilities are endless. Okay, but how exactly does it work? 
The engine uses the directional energy of centrifugal force. Yeah, we know that from physics point of view centrifugal does not exist, but we will continue to call it this way to make it easier to understand. Have you ever seen what happens to a washing machine after you throw a brick inside? Well, you get the idea. Our engine uses same centrifugal force, but instead of breaking the washing machine apart, it makes it fly. The trick is to keep the energy going only one direction, the most desired direction, up. A wheel pipe is filled with a special liquid containing two types of particles. This liquid is the key to success. Its density, viscosity, weight, magnetic properties and the adjusted pressure inside the pipe is a result of months, tests and calculations. Now the pipe starts spinning with high velocity. The centrifugal force keeps it still, but let's add some sieves on the sides. The liquid soaks out and does not cause a turbulence. See how the same centrifugal force pushing the wheel up pushes the liquid out of the wheel? Well, it not only pushes it out, but also pumps it to another wheel spinning with same velocity, but other direction. Now, we have two wheel pipes spinning, but all the mass of the liquid can be found only in upper parts of the wheels. The liquid filling the blocks of the spinning wheels needs only a moment to start producing centrifugal energy. The rest of the spin gains a tremendous constant directional pull. The size of the wheel pipes, the weight of liquid and the spinning velocity determines the power of the engine. An engine in size of two standard car tires can fly a weight of 100 kilograms. That's 220 pounds and that's an adult man. Of course, I have spared you all the details of powering the wheels, electromagnetic fields, electronic gyroscope control unit and so on. I just wanted to show you the main principle of operation. If you want to help build a better tomorrow, please support this project. Thank you.